Hello. Uh, my name is Sylvia, Sylvia Raiway. I'm a clinical psychologist. So uh, when the um, Jonica Foundation and uh, Pakamia got in touch with me to see Robert, uh, they wanted him to go through assessments, um, at least to see if there's an issue that maybe he's dealing with. And that is what we've been doing so far. Um, I wanted to explain something. He said uh, that betting is a, is a problem. I want, to, I want to explain the fact that there are three kind of gamblers. Let me, let me use the word gamblers. So there is a professional one who's very okay in terms of what they do. They know what resources they can put into gambling or they know how to do it and they know how to time themselves. And then there is a social gambler who does it for fun, where most Kenyans are. And then now we have the problem gambler, who now is an addicted gambler. That's where now the problem comes in. So what happens in this case, I'm, I'm just trying to say, not everyone who does betting is a, has a problem, but if you do have an addiction, whereby you cannot control the amount of money you put in your, in your bets, or if you, if you do have an issue in managing the time you spend in betting and all that, that then you need to seek help. And that's what Robert is doing right now. And most of the people who have gambling addiction have underlying issues as well. Underlying psychopathologies sometimes. Maybe there's depression, maybe there is bipolar, because it's an impulse control disorder. So if there is anyone that you know out there who's having a problem with like him, he needs, he or she needs to be seen by a doctor maybe at some point and to get help that they need. And I'm very happy that I was included in this um, as I help him recover through what he needs to recover through and to be more responsible in the future. Yes. Thank you. Uh, my name is John Kamau. I'm the founder of uh, Jonica Foundation. Uh, it's an organization I founded after one of my friends succumbed into gaming. Actually, he committed suicide. And that's when I got, I got a drive to start the foundation. Uh, what we've been doing, we have a website and a toll-free number. Um, we've been receiving numerous calls. Actually, it's very overwhelming, the number of calls we are receiving with people who have problem gaming. And I call the key players in the industry and everyone else, including government agencies, to help in uh, curbing this problem. It's becoming quite a big problem. And the issue is most of the people who are facing the issue problem gaming are not speaking out. Baha is one in, in thousands, and I hope those who have this issue can come out and uh, we hope that um, the key players in the industry will help in this drive as we try and make sure that gaming is taken as racial and not as a way of making investments. So thank you, Pakamia, for supporting uh, uh, this initiative, and we hope other key players will come in and ourselves will do all we can uh, to make sure that we regulate uh, the issue of problem gaming. Thanks. So the first thing about maybe any addiction, let me just generalize because it's just not gambling. Um, the best thing is if you see someone struggling is to help them get to where they can get help. So in this case, for example, Jonica Foundation takes calls and they connect you with people like us now who are going to help you through the addiction process, right? To help you recover because just like any other addiction, it has to be treated. And mostly it's through therapy. And if there's an underlying psychopathology, then there is a, a psychiatrist who can see you and give you treatment as you go through maybe cognitive behavioral therapy or some any other sort of therapy that you need to go through. So 
the first thing is how do we get this person to get help maybe calling in assisting them to the hospital that would be the first step and then from there they can connect you with me i'm from integrative holistic psychotherapy they call me in and maybe we help you from there and we move forward in terms of you getting better and yes there is a bit of denial with with gambling and also that can be a process actually so you need to be able to also communicate with the person who's gambling very effectively um to, to add on what she said um i know you hadn't asked me the question but i just want to say something um just like i've said i know betting is a disease najua mo vijana wengi huko nje tunaekelea mo vijana too just like myself there are re certain reasons that push you to do it maybe when it becomes now problematic and most of the people how to realize una juice kama ugonjwa ati naku sumbua you don't realize when things like when push comes to shove so if you have someone who who's willing to like you know uh come out on your behalf and stuff that's really 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 helpful yeah yes Ah, so right now um, we've had one session. Um, the session was actually mainly to understand uh, some underlying issues that might have caused my, you know, my addiction in uh, gambling. So that is what we worked on. We realized a lot about my past, a lot about things that went uh, were going on in my childhood that maybe I hadn't worked on. So now it's just unraveling the story, pole pole, and then. Doc also is giving me a few uh, like things that I can do when I feel the urge to you know to gamble. I can call her any time. Yeah, so I feel like it's uh, baby steps, and we're, we're gonna get there. And maybe I, I have a question for you. Uh, when did you realize that uh, things were, uh, went overboard? That you were wow, funny thing, I didn't. That's the like that's the. That's the weird point. You don't realize yourself. Um, maybe in the other way, when you come to realize, in a kogemifika point, and you're too far gone. So for me, I hadn't realized, but I'm glad um, whatever happened happened. It pushed me to towards doing things that I wasn't really really proud of. And um, yeah, so now I'm here and I'm working on myself. Okay, it's over. Just in case. Oh okay. Thank you so much guys. Right. All right, it's been a pleasure guys. Thank you. See you soon when I'm better. I am the managing director for Pakamia, uh, which is one of the betting companies in Kenya. We had about uh, Baha story in the social media just like everyone else and uh, we decided to reach out to uh, one of the foundation company that supports uh, responsible gaming and uh, through that we'll be able to support him to see a doctor, uh, a process that will take some time. Uh, as Pakamia, we are happy to help him go through the gambling a problem and we'll support him all through until he comes out of it. Uh, we're also calling out to other betting companies in the industry um, to support such a cause, knowing very well that we have so many people in the country who are struggling with the gambling addiction and as an industry we've not been very supportive uh, um, to these people. Uh, yet we are required by the government that we contribute uh, some money from our earnings uh, towards uh, supporting responsible gaming. Thank you. Habari uh, Zenyu, everyone. I know all of you have seen uh, what's going on around on social media. And um, one thing I want to say is, 
betting is a disease. Most people don't look at it that way. Mimi Lini Pata. And I'm so glad that I have so many guys who are willing to help me out. I just want to say thank you to Jonica Foundation and Pakamia because they're going to help me through this. And then hopefully afterwards I can give my story and I can be, become like a brand ambassador for responsible betting guys. So yeah, I just want to say thank you and um, I hope all goes well. Uh, yeah, some friends are here, some left, so I'm, I'm working with what I have. We are products of our decisions, good or bad. Thank you. All right. All right.